Well, friends and family, this is my first video blog. A lot has happened in the last couple of weeks and since my injury in uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon. I want you to know that I'm uh, doing really well and uh, really excited about my uh, progress and how things are folding and wanted to uh, take a few minutes and just update everyone that's following the blog uh, with some of my own words. First I want to thank everybody for all of your prayers and thoughts. I'm so very grateful uh, for everyone that's Think of me, thinking of me and praying for me uh, and all the support and well wishes. I uh, want you to know that they uh, don't go unheard, uh, that it's making a difference and uh, it's, uh, it's helping me to get better. So I thank you very much. Uh, I want everyone to know how grateful I am for uh, my family and friends and especially my uh, my wife. I have uh, been so blessed with uh, the most amazing wife and uh, love my wife so much and I'm so grateful to have such an amazing spouse. A uh, little update on uh, how things are going for me. Uh, two weeks ago I was uh, fighting for my life. Uh, my good friend Matt Hoffman helped uh, get me breathing after a, a bicycle wreck. Uh, the, bi the bike ride was wonderful up until the wreck, so it's really nice to get out. We had a great time and or it just didn't end uh, quite as well as, as I had hoped. Uh, but uh, thank Matt for his um, training and efforts and keeping his head about him and what a great job he did as, as uh, we fought for my life. and made the efforts necessary to get me uh, off of Big Cottonwood Canyon and down to the hospital where the wonderful hospital staff is taking care of me so well. Uh, my spinal cord injury is classified as incomplete, meaning we just don't know. Uh, we don't know how much of a recovery I'll make or how little a recovery or what it will all entail. But in the one week since I've made it to the 12th floor of the rehab unit, I've made incredible strides. I'm moving my hands, I'm moving my legs, I'm moving my torso, I can move around, I can lift my legs up. Uh, it's pretty remarkable uh, what's happened in just a week's time. Uh, a little bit about the course of my day and kind of what happens, and you've read some of this uh, from the blog, so maybe I'll try and share some of my feelings and kind of how I feel about the situation. Uh, my day starts pretty early. About, uh, you know, I wake up around uh, 7 a.m. to 7.30 and, and uh, just kind of relax and get going. I have breakfast. I get dressed. I actually get into shorts and a shirt and uh, shoes and uh, basically get ready to work out. And uh, after I'm uh, ready to go, uh, around 9.30 to 10 a.m., I usually have some a breathing treatment and various treatments and drugs and so forth that have to be administered for the, in the morning. About uh, 10 a.m., I start with my uh, physical therapy. And uh, it's very, very hard work, but I actually love it. Uh, it's uh, just like intense working out and uh, we, there's various different ways and methods that we do but I'm just trying to strengthen my uh, my core and my legs and get to where I can walk again ultimately and uh, we, we work out hard. I have a mer amazing uh, physical therapists that work with me. They push me hard. Um, I've already passed out once uh, and they just laughed at me but uh, so we have fun, we work hard, uh, all in an effort to, to get me better. And I just couldn't be more pleased uh, with the results and uh, what's going on. Uh, my arms are slower to react, which is what uh, they told me from, from the start. Uh, my injury, uh, it's more common that the larger muscle groups like the legs 
will start to react and strengthen quicker and that my arms and fingers and finer motor movements will come later. I am getting movement in my arms. I can uh, close my fingers and move my fingers, uh, but it is coming much slower. But we just keep working at it. Occupational therapy is where we focus more on uh, my arms and finer motor skills and, and uh, how I go about life. Uh, that way. So, uh, anyway, I want to make an effort to uh, update folks and let people know how I'm feeling and how I'm doing. Uh, I, I, as I've mentioned, I feel great. I'm, uh, you know, I would not wish this challenge upon anyone, but I'm uh, grateful to take on this challenge and tackle it and. I'll go like mad and work like mad and and uh, do the best I can uh, uh, with it and with the help of uh, everyone around me and uh, the Lord. I'll, I'll make it through this. Um, we're, we're, I'm just so grateful, so grateful for what what uh, I have and uh, for the opportunities that I have. So. Uh, they tell me my brain's working, and I'm uh, thinking clearly, at least as uh, well as it worked before. So that's not saying much, but I'm uh, I'm happy that uh, there was no uh, no brain damage or anything uh, with the respect to that. Uh, they tell me my helmet's mutilated. Uh, I guess my uh, clothes are mutilated too. So gonna have to get some new bike clothes to replace my old uh, bike clothes when I'm back on my bike. But I want everyone to know that I, uh, that I love you. I'm grateful for you. I uh, think the world of, of all of you. Um, appreciate uh, your prayers, your thoughts. Uh, I will try and do this periodically. I'm not going to commit to uh, doing it uh, at any uh, particular intervals. But I know lots of you are following this and uh, like the updates and want to know how things are going. And uh, so I will make an effort to uh, do a video blog every so often so that you guys are uh, up and in the loop on kind of what my perspective is of uh, how things are going. Again, thank you so much. And uh, until next time, uh, I love you and I'll see you later.